In the capital cities of the world, they are talking about a wonder plant. Cat's claw from the Peruvian rainforest is the best known of the country's 2,000 medicinal plants. Cat's claw is now big business worldwide, with Peru exporting three to four billion dollars worth as raw material and finished product. Known locally as una de gato, it's extracted from the leaf or the bark of the plant and taken as a potion or pill. Cat's claw has been proven on animals to boost the immune system and has long been seen by local people as a remedy for inflammations, arthritis, gastritis, and even cancer. Now Cat's claw is under scientific scrutiny. At a public hospital in central Lima, rheumatologist Dr. Jose Piscoya has been involved in a year-long multi-central trial of Cat's claw as an anti-inflammatory. Our concern as rheumatology experts who work with illnesses involving painful inflammation is to find a treatment or alternative medicine which could provide the same relief as aspirin. That is, relieve the pain from inflammation, but with minimal side effects to the digestive system. The doctors put cat's claw to the same rigorous test as they would any orthodox medicine. Cat's claw has been demonstrated to have an analgesic effect and an indirectly anti-inflammatory effect in osteoarthritis. Words like these are music to the ears of Jose Luis Silva. He runs Hersel, a Peruvian pharmaceutical company. Currently, plant remedies make up only 3% of the company's income, but he's hoping to boost that to 50%. Jose Luis is also president of the Peruvian Institute of Medicinal Plants. The idea of forming the institute was to promote certain values. First, to prevent deforestation, because extracting medicinal plants has been damaging to the forest. Second, that the farmers and the indigenous people who cultivate or extract medicinal plants benefit from it themselves, with its commercialization. In the jungle region of Ucayali in central Peru, Jose Luis is off to meet a local shaman or natural healer. Tell me about the traditional use of cat's claw. We get the bark of the cat's claw and we put it into five gallons of water. Leave it for eight hours and the patient takes it for kidney and liver problems. So you brew it in water only? Yeah, just in water. It is known that the active ingredient in cat's claw is a group of alkaloids with immunostimulant properties. These are more concentrated in the leaves than in the bark. Jose Luis goes into the jungle in search of wild cat's claw with forestry engineer Elard Ramirez. And he discovers that traditionally, People have gone for the bark, destroying whole trees in the process. Cat's claw nowadays, in its natural form, can't be found in populated areas or near main roads. You usually find it three, four or five kilometers from the main road. After a two hour walk, they strike lucky. Look over here, Jose Luis. This is a native cat's claw. People from the region say the cat's claw water has medicinal properties and is revitalizing. Farmers and pharmaceutical companies are now joining forces to grow cat's claw on lower down plantations, where the leaves can be harvested without destroying the plant. So that you manage it better, you keep it small so it gets bushy. In that way you can avoid cutting down the forest? Yes, you don't kill the plant and it has a useful life of about five years. The growers swear by the plant themselves for everything from sore throats to prostate problems. Hmm? 
You chew it and you make saliva. You swallow it. You chew it for a while. And if you keep it in your mouth for a long time, it feels like it numbs it. And it cures immediately. Back in Lima, Dr. Piscoya may not subscribe to all the locals' claims for the plant, but he is sure that it works for rheumatism. With this illness, we have shown it has an analgesic effect greater than placebo. And an important effect is that it doesn't have secondary effects on the digestive system. At Jose Luis's laboratory, the big issue is quality control. In the past, there have been cases of falsification, faking ingredients, which have had no medicinal properties at all. It would be a shame if cat's claw, a marvelous plant, should be tainted with a bad reputation like that because of people messing around with it. If cat's claw is as good as Dr. Piscoya says, and the quality can be controlled as well as Jose Luis promises, then it looks set to become an ever-increasing export for Peru. The treasures of the Amazon. What else is lurking in the jungle?